This is a homemade electric screwdriver. It has a 3D printed case that I've designed. It uses two push buttons to rotate clockwise or counterclockwise. It uses a geared motor, so we have decent torque. It can be recharged using a USB cable and it is powered by a lithium ion battery. Inside we have that battery, a USB charging module, a boost converter and an H-bridge module, so we could spin both clockwise and counterclockwise. In this video I will show you what we need to make this project. I will share the schematic, the part list and the 3D files so you could make it as well. But before we start make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for future videos. Also thanks to all my patrons for the support. So let's get started. If you consider ordering prototyping PCBs, check the services of the sponsor of this video, GLC PCB, the biggest prototyping PCB manufacturer from China. Process time is just 2 days and a few more days for shipping. I use their services all the time for all kinds of PCBs. Small PCBs, flexible, 2 or 4 layers and different solder mask colors. Upload your Gerber files to glcpcb.com. The order process is just a couple of minutes. So go and order your board starting from only $2. What's up my friends, welcome back. The key component for this project is this gear DC motor. The gear ratio will give us the speed and the torque. You could find models for this motor for 100 RPM, 200 or 300 RPM. The higher is the speed, the lower will be the torque and vice versa. I wanted high torque. So my motor has the speed of 100 RPMs and it works at 12 volts. So select your motor depending on what you need. Ok to power the circuit I will need a lithium ion battery. This is an 18650 battery. To charge up this battery I will use this USB module. This will output 4.2 volts which is the charging voltage for the battery and it will protect it from overcharge and over discharge. Ok now the battery can give us around 3.7 up to 4.2 volts. That's not enough for the full speed of this motor. So I will use this simple boost converter module to boost the voltage up to 12 volts. To control the rotation we could use a simple push button. But if we want to rotate in both directions we will need an H bridge. This module could rotate the motor in both directions. See my video about how an H bridge works below in order to understand more. Ok so finally we need the 3D printed case to put everything inside. But we also need this drill bit support. Two push buttons and a 22mm bearing. This drill bit support will get screw onto the motor shaft and then we could tie this and insert our screwdriver tip or even a small drill bit. We will use the bearing as a support. As you can see the motor shaft with the drill bit support is quite long and the force will be applied to the tip of this support. So that will create a lot of movement and probably will damage the motor shaft. So we will put this bearing next to the support and that will make this more stable. Ok so first thing I do is to connect the boost converter to the power supply and I will apply 3.8 volts. I connect my multimeter and I rotate the potentiometer till I get 12 volts. Using this potentiometer we could also change the speed of the motor since that is given by the applied voltage. Ok so next I measure the maximum current of the motor under high loads. I connect the power supply at 12 volts and I try to stop the rotation in order to increase the load. And as you can see the current is around 200 mA and that's great because the maximum current of the H bridge is around 1.5 amps and for the boost converter around 3 amps. By the way this motor has some serious torque, I can stop it with my hand. Anyway we are good to go. See the schematic before starting this project. Ok now solder the battery to the charging module. You have the B plus and the B minus connectors for that. Now the output from this module is connected to the boost converter input. Then the boost converter is connected to the H bridge module and to one side of the push buttons. The other pin of the button is connected with a pull down to the enable input of the H bridge module. Connect the motor to the output of the module and the schematic is done. I test if it works. I push one button and I rotate to the left. I push the other and I rotate to the right. Of course I will have to shorten these wires when I mount this inside of the 3D case. 
and for that I've printed the screwdriver case using PLA material, two perimeters, 20% infill and a 0.4mm nozzle. The case is made out of two parts and as you can see I've tried to make it as small as I could. Ok so place the drill bit support and screw that to the motor shaft. Now add the bearing and then add the other part of the support and tighten it. Make sure that the bearing can rotate. Now fit the battery inside of the 3D printed case. Now place the DC motor with the bearing and the support. If you use the parts from the list that I give you, it should fit with no problems. Now I make these small holes on the top part of the case. I pass this kind of push buttons through these holes and I solder the wires and the resistors on the other side like this. Now solder these wires to the H-bridge module. Now I place the charging module on the top side of the case like this using some hot glue. Make sure you can connect the USB cable to the module. Now glue the boost converter as well. Ok so now I finally solder the input cables from the bridge to the output from the boost converter and test if it works. If yes, we can close the case using very small 2mm screws. So tight these screws and the project is done. I've made my own electric screwdriver. It has a decent torque so I could use it with bigger screws as well. I have these metal tips from an old multi-tip screwdriver. So I could use this with my electric screwdriver. So open the support fit the tip inside and tighten it back. You could also use some small drill bits like these ones that only cost a few cents. Now when the battery is low, connect any USB connector with a 5V adapter and charge back the battery. So this was a very simple project. I hope that you like it. Consider supporting my projects on Patreon. And remember that you have all the files, the schematic and the STL files below of this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe and activate the notification bell for future videos. Also click the like button like crazy and share this video with your friends. And remember that your help on Patreon means a lot for me and will keep this kind of videos going. So thanks again and see you later guys.